there, my name is Neon, and in this video, I'm going to be spending three days learning how to write with my non-dominant hand. I guess I should preface this by saying I'm actually left-handed, so I'm going to be learning to write with my right hand. So, a couple of reasons why I'm actually trying to learn to write with my right hand or my non-dominant hand. If you know someone who's left-handed, or if you personally are left-handed, you might know these things, but it's a like a tiny bit more difficult being left-handed. For example, I have only ever found one pair of scissors that I can use with my left hand. Like the other ones, they just won't cut. And I have like zero coordination with my right hand, so I find it really difficult to cut properly. So yeah, that's one reason. And then there's also the issue with smudging. So when you write with your left hand, basically what happens is you're kind of dragging over like everything you're writing as you write it. So if you're using like a gel pen or like a very liquid ink pen, even highlighters and things like that, it generally leads to smudging. Another thing you will notice when I'm writing with my left hand, um, I don't know if other left-handed people do this, but when you're writing with your left hand, your hand is basically covering what you're doing. And so my personal adaptation, I don't know how common this is among other left-handed people, but my personal adaptation has been to like turn the paper 90 degrees and then bend over onto the desk so I can see what I'm writing. It's not very good for my posture and it looks really weird like I've been made fun of it for like by my friends it also takes up a lot of space so like people can't sit near you it's just not ideal let's just put it that way I honestly think that what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna hate it and I'm never gonna do it again but <laughs> you never know until you try right I guess what I should explain is over the next three to five days depending on how like bored I get and how long I can keep it up I will be practicing writing with my right hand I think first I'm gonna just try letters both uppercase and lowercase and then kind of just move on to writing sentences and stuff like that but that's kind of my plan so I'm just gonna get into it I will show you guys my left hand versus right hand before images so let's get into that Okay, so I just finished it. My before handwriting. I think my biggest issue right now is it's so awkward. Like I have no idea how I'm supposed to hold the pencil and then put it down like how I'm supposed to rest my hand and then draw at the same time. Like it's so natural with my left hand. I think you can even tell from the lines, like my hand's not very stable and so the lines are kind of like jaggy, like they're crooked. But yeah, okay, so first impressions. I'm very awkward with it. My handwriting is trash, expected. I mean, it's legible. You might think it's like a two-year, well, I guess two-year-olds can't write. You might think that it's like a, um, like a five-year-old that's first learning to write. Actually, no, I think I'm better than a five-year-old. Okay, I, you, you guys tell me, am I better than a five-year-old? I think it's better than a five-year-old. But you'd think it's a child that wrote it, right? Like, compared to this. I honestly don't know how well this is gonna turn out in three days, or if I get to five days, which I highly doubt I will, because it's boring, okay? Yeah, so those are kind of just, you know, my initial thoughts. <laughs> I will be continuing this over the next three days, for sure. I have committed, and we'll see where I get with it. I mean, honestly, any improvement, any improvement over this. So we'll see um, how much better it gets, to be honest. I don't have much hope. I was initially, when I was planning out this video, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I just put them up and I don't say which is which and I make people guess. And now that I'm looking at it, like if you couldn't guess this, like, I mean, honestly, like, is this even a test? I'm gonna get to, to writing. Today is the day I will be training with just lettering sheets. So let's get into the boring writing montage and I'll see you guys once the next three days are over. So day one, I like just spent a couple hours on the iPad tracing the letters over and over again, which is super fun. <laughs>
sitting at the desk for so long so I moved to my bed for a bit and then I kind of wrote there while watching something. Jug wrote a bit on the iPad and then I moved to the paper and I just wrote the same sentence over and over again in uppercase and lowercase letters. Okay guys, that's officially day five and I'm here to show you the results. So, ta-da! say that after three days my handwriting has improved greatly. In terms of comparison, I think um, anyone <laughs> with eyes can tell that my right hand handwriting is nowhere near my left hand, but it's also not as bad as I thought it was going to turn out, like um, it's legible. I also think that I'm not actually putting as much pressure onto the paper and so it looks lighter and it looks a little weird, I don't know how to explain it. The lines are shakier for sure. And also the pen that I picked initially, like I didn't consider I just picked the first black pen that I could find, and actually like enhances the shakiness of my handwriting. The other thing that I learned is um, when your body is not used to doing something and then you do it a lot, um, consecutively, you know, it's not fun. <laughs> Basically, what happened was, I think I spent like two to four hours each day, like, writing. Day three, I woke up, and my, like, wrists were in so much pain, like, I couldn't move them. Like, even now, my fingers still hurt. And I tried to, like, work a bit. I was like, it's fine, I can, like, push through. But at that point, and I just wasn't in the mood to do it anymore. Like, it's really boring to just write the same letters over and over and over again for two hours. And so that's why we're just going to assume that day three didn't happen, and day four is actually day three. I'm going to assume it. If you don't want to agree with that, that's a you problem, okay? It, it, it's not me. I clearly did nothing wrong. Also, I'd like to mention that <laughs> um, for this stuff written than this, the part where I say this is me writing with my such and such hand, I am fully aware that I spelled writing wrong and there should only be one T. You know, once I noticed it, it had already been like a couple days, and I figured it's better to just leave it in so that the comparisons look the same. And like, I totally kept it in on purpose. And it's totally not because I'm like stupid and I don't know how to write the word writing. Just thought it put that out there. No, but actually just don't. <laughs> we don't talk about that, okay? Let's not mention that I, I can't spell. I guess kind of like my final thoughts for anyone who wants to give this a try. If you're planning to try it, do not use the tiniest notebook you can find in your house. If you have an iPad, like if you don't, just ignore this. But if you do have one, I, I would highly recommend like swearing on that. And even if you're not like tracing like a, a stencil or whatever they're called, I would recommend starting on that just because it's a lot smoother. It's actually a lot easier to start that way. Actually, if you're really, really serious about it, like you genuinely want to learn how to write with your non-dominant hand and you want it to become a permanent thing, I would recommend making a stencil with your own handwriting just because like now my handwriting looks more similar to the stencil I was following than to my own handwriting. If you're not at all used to using like your non-dominant hand for like uh, very detailed tasks, maybe just start slow. Maybe do like 10-15 minutes a day. Use a pen that has like a like a, a rubber thing and actually try out some pens. I compare like different pens and pencils and I actually noticed this one like makes my handwriting look the most shaky. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. To be honest, I was kind of personally impressed on day three, but then I feel like it could have been better if I stuck to it for longer, but it's just so boring. Like just imagine sitting there for like an hour and just writing A. A. All right, that's kind of the end of the video. I just wanted to say a couple things before I end. I actually posted my first video, I think when this goes up, it'll have been two weeks ago. And honestly, when I posted it, I really didn't think anyone was gonna watch. But I just really, really, really wanted to thank anyone who watched, or left a comment or like. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. You honestly, you guys made my week, so I wanted to say thank you for that. And then also, if you subscribed, expecting more Notion content. <laughs> I am so sorry this is not that, but I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you've made it this far to the video, thank you for watching. When I was planning to make the video, it was supposed to be like a no pressure, no one's watching, so just do whatever you want, kind of thing. Maybe it was interesting, maybe you learned something. Maybe now you wanna learn to write with your non-dominant hand. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye.